Uh, so we're in New York City right now. We are with Jason Little, one of my favorite photographers in the genre of cityscapes and street photography and things like that. And this is this is a guy who's the expert. This is the maestro. Of, <laughs> I, I'm asking uh, him to give me a few tips, and so we're gonna do that. We're gonna walk around, take some pictures. I'm, I'm trying to capture some of your mojo, so that I can use it, so that I can become a good cityscape photographer. Okay. It's it probably it's not gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen. What drew you to doing this kind of photography? Does it just come natural to you? Yeah, I just, it's just, when I walk out, if I see something that catches my eye, I wanna shoot it. You know, I find beauty in things other than flowers. Flowers are fine, you know, things like that, but, you know, in the, just everyday life. You know, right. I walk out, see the people, see the buildings, see the way that people interact with the things around them that, that just, captures my imagination, so I like to capture it however I can. As crazy as the city is, and as many people that are always buzzing around, I will find a spot and I will stay there for as long as it takes till I see what I want. I, don't, I might not know what I want ahead of time, but I'll find a spot kind of like this and wait for something to happen or wait till it sort of clicks in my head oh this is this is what i'm looking for it just kind of happens you know but you have to be patient wait for it it'll it'll come i understand what you're saying there especially in a dynamic situation but i see i see buildings just standing still right, right? and you're talking about just standing there and waiting for like what are you waiting to see change um i don't know that's the thing i sometimes delight but it's a matter of familiarity i come to this place all the time yeah yeah, and every time I come down here, I can find something new, right? So I'm very familiar with, you know, the dynamic of this particular place, but at right. the same time, it's always new. Yeah. Right? So sometimes you just gotta be familiar with the place. So lots of times when I am trying to uh, uh, photograph a landscape or a cityscape, just any kind of a scene that do that's not a portrait kind of a scene, I tell people that the only way I can do it is, is to sort of see a personality in the scene. Do you feel that way yeah, when you're shooting? Yeah, there's a personality in every place I go. Just the general area, Chinatown, Financial District, any Brooklyn, you know, I can go anywhere. And that place has its own personality. It's still New York, yeah. but the buildings, the people, everything you see is in some way different from the last place I was. So when you're used to that, you can make a shot out of, it, out of anything. So your favorite? So your favorite uh, favorite area to shoot in New York right now is what? Where we are right now? Does it change? It changes. Okay. It does change. Yeah. Does it change with the seasons? Yeah, I would say that. Because you know, I can shoot here anytime and it's more or less the same, right? For Central Park, for example, in the fall, you know, colors are changing. So yeah, it, it does sort of change with the you know with the seasons. Um, in the spring, I spend a lot of time down there at Battery Park by the water. What do you see first? Do you see do you see lines? Do you see curves? What do you what, um, what do you think attracts you to something like this? It's the curves. Yeah, I, it's the curves I see. I think most most of the shots that I take here are really in my at least in my head based on the curves. And then the line second, which might sound a little weird for me, it's just something about it, especially on a day when the light is perfect is not today but you know the, the, the shadows that are created on the curves I just I don't know I'm just drawn to them every time I come down here I can see something different every time I just pick a spot put the camera up and sometimes just let people come into the scene so it's a little bit easier uh, depending on where I am to try and uh, force the composition so would you say that you're mostly known for your Film photography, because you shoot, you do shoot some digital, right? I do, yeah. Um, I don't know. It seems because I have two different. I keep them separate, you know. On so on Instagram, I have a separate account that's all film. I, so I have a following there, and I think most of those people are probably not even aware of my digital. And the opposite might be true also where most of those people aren't aware of my film work so i'm trying to even though i just keep them separate i just sort of try to i do a little bit to try to keep the awareness out there but um 
it's not a it's not a conflict. It's just I like both. You like both. Yeah. But film holds a special place. Yeah, in your yeah, heart. something special about it. Uh, what are you shooting with today? An Olympus OM2. I have a roll of Tri-X in here that I'm pushing to 1600. Uh, and digital is my trusty Sony A7 II. You also write about photography. Yes. What else? What else? Uh, what else do you do? Uh, well, that 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 consumes you know between the writing, actually shooting, um, developing my own film. It you know that's I, I try to cover it all. Is photography your life? Yeah. Is it? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Really. Do you do any, uh, is it mostly art stuff that you do or do you do any commercial stuff? Uh, uh, it's, it's mostly art. Um, you know, I, I do a little bit, uh, you know, if something, something comes up and I'm selected for it, I'll do the, you know, I'll do the job absolutely. You know, I think you, it's one of those things you're always looking for. Any opportunity that comes up, you'll take it. You right, know, right. And, you know, Some paying jobs. This, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I love the art of it. Right. You know, that's right. what I fell in love with and just... It's a constant push to get better, you know, pushing myself. Right. Well, I don't know how much farther you could go because you're pretty amazing. Uh, I, mean, I appreciate it, I, but I'm always, I'm always trying to, always trying to get better. Well, it's like they say, every everybody can improve, you know. Yeah. No one yeah. should be satisfied that, with where yeah, they are. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I never, I never want to, and I say this to other people: don't get um, comfortable with where you are creatively, you know, because if you keep doing it something else will you know your brain's churning something else will come up and you'll be at another level you didn't expect yourself to be at six months ago or a year ago whatever so Very just, true. just keep keep pushing yourself so if you're going to give one a good piece of advice for the beginning photographer who wants to do uh, do this kind of photography do cityscapes what, what would that advice be it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't have to be new york it doesn't have to be anything any sort of exotic location Get a camera, any camera, just go out and do it. You know, it's, you look at what other people are doing, don't try to imitate it, just, you know, use it as inspiration, but just go out and start doing it. It's just think of it as practice. Just keep doing it, keep doing it. You probably won't be happy with your result, your results in the very beginning, but keep doing it. And before you know it, you'll be knocking out stuff that that not only you like, but that other people like too. So just get a camera, do it, make it happen. I encourage you to go and check out Jason Little's photography. So we've got jdevonphotography.com. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to that in the video description below. And uh, and then on Instagram, Halide Hustle. Yes. And Jay Devon Photography. And Jay Devon Photography. <laughs>